Ryder looked down at the Paw Patroller covered in snow. Oh, I hope we don't get any calls today. On the other side of town, Pepper and George ran outside. Snow, they said. Hooray, hooray. Mummy Pig told them they could play, but not to go too far. Candy Cat turned up to play with Pepper as George wandered off. Candy and Pepper <laughs> rolled around in the snow. <laughs> At the lookout, Chase and Marshall were playing in the snow as well, building a snowman. Ryder and Rubble kept watch. Meanwhile, George was climbing a snowy hill. Oh, careful George! George has always wanted to go snowboarding, but he doesn't have a snowboard. He's just pulled one of Mummy Pig's best trays out from under his jumper. No George, don't even think about it. But George didn't think. He jumped on the tray and actually started quite well. Oh, watch out, George! Too late. George landed at the top of a tree. At the lookout, George's accident had been seen and the alarm raised. I'll try and get Everest on her pup tag, said Ryder. Everest was enjoying the snow, but when Ryder called, she knew there was an emergency. She immediately jumped into her snowplow and set off to find George. Oh, there you are, George. I'll just get my ladder out. George got down slowly and was relieved to be on the ground again. I think you need a proper snowboard and some lessons, George, said Everest. Come on, I'll take you home. Mummy Pig was wondering where George had gone and was very pleased to see him. Here you are, said Everest, and this is your tray, Mummy Pig. So that's where it is, said Mummy Pig. Can I have a ride in your snowplow, said Peppa. Of course, said Everest, who gave Peppa a ride. Then Candy had a go. Everybody thanked Everest and off she went. Thanks for watching our video. Here's another one you may have missed. Mummy Pig told Peppa and George that she had a surprise for them. Peppa was dressed in her favourite fancy dress costume, a princess, and George as a knight in armour. It wasn't real armour, that would be far too heavy for George. Look this way, said Mummy. They heard an engine and Grandpa Pig drove up in Gertrude, the royal train Gertrude. <laughs> Gertrude is the very best train in the whole world, said Peppa. Grandpa Pig had painted Gertrude to look like a royal train. George said he liked the crowns. Would you like to go for a ride? said Grandpa Pig. We can pick up some of your friends and bring them back for our royal tea. Cucumber sandwiches. And cookies for anyone who doesn't like cucumber. <coughs> shouted Grandpa Pig. Peppa and George jumped on and off they set for Pocoyo's house, singing
When they arrived, they tooted. Peppa invited Pocoyo, Lula and Ellie back for a royal tea. We'd love to, said Pocoyo. I've actually ordered some crowns for us. They should be here very... Here they come, said Pocoyo. James was steaming towards them, pulling a truck with three golden yellow crowns on it. When they arrived, Pocoyo, Ellie and Lula put their crowns on. You look silly, said Peppa to Pocoyo. You're supposed to take your hat off before you put a crown on. Oh, I never take my hat off, said Pocoyo. Well, you do look silly, said Peppa. <laughs> Shouted Grandpa Pig and they all jumped in. Let's race, said James. Ready, steady, go! <laughs> well, it wasn't much of a race. James was much too fast for Gertrude. Grandma Pig had been busy making cucumber sandwiches and cookies which were laid out on trays when the train arrived. Help yourself, said Grandma Pig, and they all raced to the tables. When they cleared, the cookies were nearly all gone, but no one had had a cucumber sandwich. Oh dear, said Mummy Pig, we'll just have to eat them ourselves, and they all laughed. <laughs> But they all agreed 